Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, blessed inspired of. Jonathan saw his son had a son who was a cripple in his feet. He was five years old when the news came out of Jezreel of the deaths of Saul and Jonathan. And the boy's nurse took him and fled. In her haste, he fell and became lame. His name was Mephibosheth. Now Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, was come unto David. He fell on his face and did reverence. And David said, Mephibosheth. And he answered, Behold, thy servant. And David said unto him, Fear not, for I will surely show thee kindness for Jonathan thy father's sake, and will restore thee all the land of Saul thy father, and thou shalt eat bread at my table continually. 2 Samuel 4, 4 and 9, 6 through 7. Grace is defined as the unmerited favor of God. It means this is something that we can't obtain by labor. The grace of God is not partial. It does not deal with colorism, classism, or racism. But rather, grace is given unto every man according to God's will. There are many of us who were born into certain families, and truth be told, we wish we were born into another family. Many of us grew up in certain eras. We wish we were not living there. The reality is there are some things we have control over and there are things we have no control over. Nobody wants to live in poverty. Everybody wants the ability to go to the supermarket. Everybody wants to live a comfortable life. Unfortunately, this was not the case for Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth was born into poverty and not only was he poor, but he was also crippled. So as you can see, the odds were very stacked against him. Can you imagine how difficult it was being Mephibosheth looking at the palace and hearing that that's where your grandfather was, that's where your father was, and also that's where you were born. And so these are all the ingredients for a life of complete depression. But interestingly, Mephibosheth was far from being depressed. He chose to live a comfortable life. There are many of us who it's not because of our own doing why our lives weren't different. But instead of being depressed and instead of murmuring, we chose to be comfortable. We might not be sleeping in a mansion, but at nights we have sweet rest. We might not be eating expensive meals, but our bellies are still full. The scripture says godliness with contentment is great gain. Mephibosheth had no clue that his life was about to be turned around. He was called to the palace. I can just imagine how fearful he must have become, wondering if this was a day that he was gonna lose his life. Later did he know that this was the day when divine favor was going to open a door in his life. Mephibosheth was a cripple. Mephibosheth was poor. But nonetheless, he received a blessing that he didn't know was already stored up for him. Ah, there are times in your life when God is going to bless you. And the way how God is going to bless you is just going to blow your mind. You might have thought that God's favor would be coming from one direction, but then God just sends it in another direction. Years before Mephibosheth was born, his father ensured Mephibosheth's blessing by having a good friendship with David. It's good to have good friends. It's good to bless somebody. It's good to be nice to somebody. It's good to be kind to somebody. Here Mephibosheth stood in front of the king, hearing that all of Saul's land and his house was to be restored to him. He would have never thought anything like this would have happened. He didn't see it coming, but he was blessed in spite of. I want to speak into somebody's spirit today and say to you, irrespective of all the challenges that you might have in your life, irrespective of all the hindrances and the hurdles that you might face, God is still going to bless you in spite of it all. Your circumstances might have you crippled like Mephibosheth, but I'm here to tell you that God is getting ready to open a door that the enemy has shut. God is getting ready to shut some doors that the enemy has opened. Ah, you better get ready because God is going to bless you in spite of. The quote of the day, regardless of all the hurdles, you still sit at the king's table. God bless you today in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Promise keeper, light and the darkness.